Lines in design. Uh, whether or not we are aware of it, uh, lines can really help us tell a visual story. So um, an example of that is, we have here is Tina. And, and this is her piece called Better Than Monet, as in uh, Janelle Monet. Uh, this piece was inspired by Janelle Monet. She is an artist um, and inspired by a red carpet uh, look that Tina saw and she wanted to recreate. Um, so there was a lot of considerations for uh, lines here while we were creating her look. Um, so Tina really wanted uh, to show high fashion, um, probably a look, like a look of regalness. And um, she really wanted to show you can upcycle material and still make it look contour. Um, so here you can see it is bubble wrap. The hat is made out of cardboard and pins. Um, and uh, well, she'll admit she did buy the fetters, but they were a last minute ad. So considerations that uh, Tina had when we were creating this piece and, um, and we can think about how line, lines in their angles would affect this piece. Um, so the hat, the tilt of the hat, the line was uh, very intentional. How would this piece look if the hat wasn't worn that way? Um, these high, broad shoulders. Uh, Tina really wanted the high, broad shoulders. Um, and it was actually quite a challenge. And uh, she figured it out by using uh, yardsticks. <laughs> so you can see here, peeking through our yardsticks to create those two long, uh, high, elongated lines um, in her piece. And so without these lines here, I want you a challenge you to think about how would her piece look without it. Um, and then the boa, the red feathers were actually a last minute ad. Um, so she here she is, she create these like long lines to create like some grand look um, with these uh, yardsticks, but or the meter sticks, um, but it wasn't really visible. So she went out and uh, got some red boas and uh, accentuate those lines with the boa. And uh, in the back, the lights, how she was gonna add tech to her piece. Um, I don't, this is not a video unfortunately, but what happens with the lights, it cascades down. And um, Tina probably spent a week thinking about how the lights should be positioned. Um, at first she had it crossing this way and that, and she thought it was too uh, busy and it detracted away from the sophistication of look. She uh, intuitively knew that too busy um, was not the sophisticated look she was going for. Um, at the end, uh, she thought it should come from one angle and cascade all the way down. So you can see it right here. Um, and you can tell it's a little bit heavy, so it's like dragging down. So it's a little another design challenge that we will figure out in the next iteration of this. But uh, I challenge you to think about how, if the lines uh, of the LEDs were placed differently, how this look would look different. So lines in design, something to think about.